probability with biased coin and tree diagram. So we have extended our previous example and this time we are considering a case where we are throwing the coin three times and it's a, again a biased coin. Okay? So the question here is a coin is biased so that it has 40% chances of landing on heads. If it is thrown three times, find the following probabilities. So probability of getting three heads or probability of getting two heads and a tail. Right? So we'll make a tree diagram as we explained last time with two coins. So those of you who have not seen the previous video which we dealt with were two coins, I'll suggest go through that because I'm not going to explain in that much details as I did in the last video, right? So here we'll kind of give you a fast version of the previous one. Well, we have three different levels here, so it may take longer time also, okay? Now here it is. So you're throwing a coin three times. So coin can give you only head or tail. So let's try to make a tree diagram with that. So let's say this is first trial. So we get here head or tail, right? So let me write down. So the possibility is you can get either head or a tail, right? Now again, this is my first throw. Then second time, we can get here head or tail, right? So again, we have the same thing. So we can get head or tail. And here also we can get head or tail, right? Then again, you throw the coin and what do you get? You again get head or tail. And here also you can get head or tail. Then here head and tail. And here again, head or tail, correct? So let me just fill it up. So you can get head or tail, head or tail, head or tail, head or tail. At this stage, I'd like you to stop the video, answer the question and then check the answer, right? Now we'll fill it up. This is a tree diagram and now we'll make probability tree diagram. When we say a probability tree diagram, then we fill in the probabilities, correct? Coin is biased, so it has 40% chances of landing on heads. So it is this time 40% on heads. That means for heads it is 0 0.40, right? And for tails it should be how much? 100% minus 40% means 60%, right? So it will be 0.60. So that is for tails. Now I'll fill in for from head to head. Now when you do it second time, it's an independent event same coins being used and only two possibilities are there as before. So from head to head, we again get 40%, right? So getting a head is 40%. So let me just fill that up and getting a tail is 60%, right? So I'll write just 0 0.6 for tails, right? 0 0.6, correct? Now from head to tail, so I, I don't say head to tail, but when we make this toss at that time, getting a tail the probability is 60%, right? So it's more chances. So we get 60 here. So for getting head, it is 4. And for getting tail, it is 0 0.6, right? So that is how it is. Let me fill all these. So getting head is 0 0.4. For getting tail, 0 0.6. 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, and 0 0.6. Correct. We got our answer. Now we need to find what is the probability of getting three heads, right? So you can get three heads only in this combination, right? This combination gives you three heads, correct? That is, you follow this part. So you multiply this with this with this and then you get this. So what do you get here? You get 0 0.4 cube. Do you see that? 0.4 times 0.4.4 which you get 0 0.4 cube. So that is your answer, correct? Now that is interesting. If we do it n times, we'll get 0 0.4 to the power of n, correct? Now let's look into the second option, which is two heads and a tail. Now, two heads and a tail means what? Two heads and a tail means you could get head, head and tail, right? So you get all those combinations. So first, let me write down these combinations and then we'll highlight the ones which gives you two heads and a tail. So two heads and a tail is this one, right? Two heads and a tail. Now in this case, head, tail, head. So we have head, tail, head. And then we have head, tail, tail. Head, tail, tail. And then we have tail, head, head. Tail, head, head. Tail, head, tail. Tail, head, tail. And then tail, tail, head. Tail, tail, head. And then we have three tails, right? So these are all the combinations. 
out of these which ones are with two heads and one tail right so two heads and one tail this is one two heads with one tail there you are two heads and one tail we have three different combinations which are two heads and one tail do you see that so these are the three combinations which will give us the answer for that so this or this or this we'll add them up correct so what are these so two heads and a tail so head head and tail as you know head is 0.5 oh sorry head is 0.4 it's not a is not a even uh, coin it's a biased coin for which head is 0.4 and tail is 0.6 this is what we know right so let me write this right on the top so that we don't have to remind you again and again that means probability of getting a head since it's 40 percent is actually 0 0.4 and probability of getting a tail is 0 0.6 correct so when we have head head then we do what we multiply by 0 0.4 times 0 0.4 and tail means 0 0.6 do you see that again the order is different but the probabilities are for head it is 0.4 40% and for tail it is 60% right so we may get different order of product but the product is same so it is 0 0.4 times 0 0.6 times 0 0.4 this time right and in this case it is first you get 0 0.6 times 0 0.4 times 0 0.4 so what do you notice in this pattern important thing here is since we have two heads Property of each head is 0.4, right? So it is 0 0.4 square, two heads, times tails probability of 0 0.6, 0 0.6. That is the answer. Do you see that? So in short, if I tell you that I'm tossing this coin n times and asking you some number of heads and tails, you can, using this method, give me the answer. So that is the insight to this, which... I think is very important to understand when doing probability equations, correct? So let, let me now write down my answer, okay? So the answer here is probability for getting three heads because it is head, head, and head should be equals to each head is 0.4. So it is 0 0.4 cube, do you understand? And probability of getting two heads and a tail. So let me write head, head, tail in this case. It could be any order. So each head is 0 0.4, so it is 0 0.4 square times tails, which is 0 0.6. So that is your answer, do you understand? So you can calculate this with the help of a calculator and write down as a person, okay? One well, important thing here is that these properties get multiplied, right? Even in the biased cases, if we have one set of probabilities, we can get the answer very fast. It really helps since you have multiple choice questions in most of the competitive exams and you really don't have time to draw such a big tree right nor do you have space at times right now drawing such a big tree takes time then counting takes more time multiplying individuals excess correct but this method of solving and getting the answer is very quick and helps you save a lot of time to get really the exact answer okay i hope you appreciate it thank you and all the best